I couldn't believe my eyes when this just popped up a few minutes ago in my feed. We are finally getting a new Heroes of Might and Magic game and I am really excited about this but also kind of concerned about this because let's be real here, the last few Heroes of Might and Magic games have been uh, not so great. Let's just call it that. And I just want to see what this is. So with that said, let's watch the announcement trailer together and then we will have a chat about whatever this is and what we are looking at. So let's do this, shall we? Okay. Looks very 3DS. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh! What the hell? Oh! This looks like somebody understood the assignment? Who's developing this? Oh my. This looks fantastic. Yeah, the cinematic they are showcasing here doesn't really... Doesn't really, like, make sense. Maybe it's the intro cinematic. Uh, this is developed by Unfrozen. As far as I know, they are an indie developer, and so far they have made one game. Um, but man, look at this. Somebody finally understood the assignment, at least from the looks of it. I am so glad that we are back to, well, similar looking graphics to the older Civilization games. And this looks fantastic. I love the animation, I love the magic. What I also really love is when they're showcasing here, the cities, Look at this. Oh my god, this is the this is the underworld, right? Yeah. There's the Hydra. I assume we are getting that back. Oh my god, the cities look great. I'm Look, here's the thing. I know I will upset a few people with what I will say in just a second here, but I loved Heroes of Might and Magic 5. I think that Heroes of Might and Magic 5 was the last really good Heroes game. Right, and then afterwards, six and seven. Uh, we are not talking about that. Um, but this looks great. This looks just awesome. I think there was another one afterwards when they didn't call it even Heroes of Might and Magic anymore, but Might and Magic Heroes, because Ubisoft tried to do something with the IP nobody asked them for. Like as I said, this looks this looks amazing. Oh my God! Look at the necropolis. Ooh, this is probably the vampire house, right? Um, do we have the graveyard somewhere? Uh, I don't see it. I don't, yeah, I don't see the graveyard here. This is probably where you get banshees, necromancers. This might be the graveyard or this here. It's, it's hard to say. I don't know what this is. Something with ice, I assume. And there's the, well, former Cathedral of Light? This is the Magic Tower. It's it's kind of crazy that I also immediately uh, see buildings from the previous Heroes games, and I immediately recognize them. So, yeah, this developer seems to have to understood the assignment. And, oh my god, look at this map. This is an amazing use of 3D, but also keep it like 2D. Right? Uh, this is one of the biggest problems I think Heroes had a little bit in the past, is this excessive use of, we need 3D graphics. We need it so badly. And most players just said, why? Like, I don't mind playing this game with 2D graphics, right? Or make it so that I'm not immediately recognized as 3D. Like, there is no necessity to adding 3D to the game because it doesn't necessarily add anything to the gameplay, right? Um, this seems to be the human slash light users, which is kind of interesting. Ooh, I love the death here. Oh god, there's so much to explore. Oh boy. I feel the urge to install a Heroes of Might and Magic game right now and uh, play that again. They're showing some some abilities here 
which is really interesting. Yeah, there's definitely some cool attacks here. Oh my god, I love the Archangel. I assume this is the Archangel, right? I assume that you can still upgrade uh, the units at least once. But again, this looks fantastic. Ah, oh, I want to... I want more. I want more now. Oh my god, look at the spells. Okay, spells. Let's have a pretty quick look at that. We have the Fire Globe. Fatal Decay, Cleansing Ray, Despair. I wonder if they just threw some uh, spells together. Yeah, they're showing. So I assume those are the schools, the different ones. So we have Light Magic, Demon Magic, Fire, Arcane. I don't know what that is. Yeah, this looks great. I, I, I love also the art of the spells. It reminds me really of the old Civ games. Uh, it seems like this time the hero is not fighting with you. He's just standing outside and using the spells, which I'm completely okay with. Uh, this is one of the new additions to uh, the Heroes games. So I, I don't mind that they basically remove that as a big Phoenix spell. Yeah, this looks fantastic. This looks fantastic. Uh, as far as we know, this game will come out next year. And it will go into Early Access first. It will go into Early Access first. And again, I appreciate that. Take your time. Make it good. But, like, first impression? This looks good. Like, it seems like that Ubisoft just said to an indie developer, look, we try to revive some of our IPs through indie developers, smaller budgets, smaller development teams. But... They know what they're doing. They have probably also played those games in the past. And they know the assignment. Let's try that. We had that with the uh, the new Prince of Persia game, right? The other Prince of Persia? The Rogue of Prince of Persia, I think it's called. Um, now we have Heroes of Might and Magic, which, again, I'm totally for it. Like, this was kind of exciting. Uh, excited. And I want to see more of it. Mm -hmm. But with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. And also, if you want to see more of this game and of other strategy games I'm focusing on here on the Mole Under Management channel, please make sure to leave us up. With that said, thanks so much for watching. Stay safe. i see you next time. Bye-bye.